Today we are taking a look at the top 20 cards that are $20 or under and prices have shifted a ton so you guys are going to want to pay attention to this list. And starting off, we have the Umbreon V. This is from the Brilliant Stars Trainer Gallery. Now it wasn't that long ago that this card was like 50 bucks and now it is under $20 which is absolutely wild to me. And you can see, we'll pull up the last solds here, uh, 21, 19, 19, 19. So, um, yeah, that's crazy. Down 35% in the last three months and continuing to drop in the last month down to 13%. But if we pull up the one-year chart, you can see back uh, when we had that big boom in May, late April, early May, this card was almost $50. And it's just slowly gone back down. It used to be, used the cheapest you could get this was like 12 bucks. So where will this fall? I don't know, but this is an Umbreon. Great looking card, cool artwork. And I don't think you could go wrong picking this card up anywhere $20 or below. This seems like a steal. Next up we have the Sylveon from the same set, Brilliant Source Trainer Gallery. And you guys can see right here in the last three months, it's down 15%. At $17, and in the last month, it's down another 4%. Pull up the one-year chart. It probably looks fairly similar to the Umbreon. Now, at one point, you could have picked this up for $11. Uh, went as high as 26 and now it's all the way down to 17 But it kind of goes, they're kind of like a pair, in my opinion, the uh, Umbreon and Sylveon. I think they're super cool. Popular Evolution, so uh, yeah, look, up, look to be picking this card up. I don't know when this is going to bottom out you would think that it would bottom out higher than what it was at before. So then we have, okay, this is crazy guys. Let's just think about this. I know that pull rates, Scarlet and Violet isn't as popular Scarlet and Violet base. I mean, pull rates were easier. You have to take that into account, but this is a special illustration rare of a legendary Pokemon and it is $14. That's all I'm saying. And the artwork is great. You got the, the dash bun looking it's like it's just a stunning looking card also if you've seen it in person it looks stunning looking anyways this is a spe special illustration wherever legendary you can pick up for 14 dollars down 31 percent in the past three months and 23 percent in the last month this was over 20 dollars and now it's 14 pull up the one year chart and see what this is looking like okay so this has kind of been all over the place it was up to 22 and then it went down to 13 and then up to 23 and then down to 14 yeah this looks like this is probably bottoming out about right here. I don't see how this card could go any lower. This is insane. This is way too cheap. There's a lot of, there's a few SIRs on this list that you guys might want to start picking up. Um, potentially multiple copies. Uh, once these prices come up, the PSA 10 prices. So if you get like clean copies, you can grade them. There's just a lot to be done. This card is way too cheap. Then we have the, okay, so this one's fudging the numbers just a little, right? We're at technically $21. Market price says 20.89. Last sales were $20.89, $20.95, but one at $19.99. So I put it on the list. But same thing. This is from Paldea Evolved. This is a special illustration rare of a legendary Pokemon. And the artwork is cool. 21, 20 bucks is cheap. It's down 24% in the past three months. And eh, just about 2% the past month. Pull up the one-year chart here. And you can see it was at $28. It was as low as $17 back up to 28 and now we're back down to 20 so yeah this uh if you're picking these up at these bottoms it, but it's just it's still just crazy to me once again sir legendary pokemon pull rates were different but still then we have um we are working on okay another one i kind of fudged the numbers again there's a few of them on here right but i thought that this iron valiant this uh gardevoir variant extremely popular pokemon from Paradox Rift. Same thing, it's, these prices are crashing into wild. Down 35% in the past three months. It was 35 and now it's like 20 bucks. In the last month, it's down another 20%. Pull up the one-year chart. It's one-year high was around $70, which was shortly after release. Then it bottomed down to around, the, yeah. So this is its, this is its all-time low, the Iron Valiant. This is a special illustration rare of a very popular alternate version of a Pokemon. It's just, it's just wild to me. Um, Paradox Rift has a few other good cards on this list, so we'll just, we'll keep it moving, but this price, this price seems wild to me. Then we have the Steelix. Okay, this is from Paradox Rift as well. We've talked about this a few times. It's been a while. 
Uh, evolution of an extremely popular Gen 1 Pokemon. Maybe not extremely popular, but popular Gen 1 Pokemon. Absolutely love the artwork. Everything about this card, he's helping out the uh, the workers up here. Super cool. Anyways, this is down, same thing, 32%, like 30% in the past three months. Down 14% over the last month. Overall, it's up. So this was, I think we talked about this card somewhere in here, and then it had its big run up, right? Now it's on its way down. Um, we don't know where this is going to bottom out. At one point, you could have picked this up for sub $10. But uh, $16 for this card, um, it is just an illustration rare, but Paradox has a ton of illustration rares, so they're actually hard to pull. So, um, yeah, this is a great great time to pick up this card. We'll, we'll see if it just keeps dropping, but yeah, Steelix, great card. All right, now we have... We're all over the place. These are all modern. I went and I was picking cards from all these different sets, right? I've talked about this one before as well. This is the Urshifu from Battle Styles. Now, Battle Styles, not as popular of a set overall, but you guys have to um, kind of think... Well, you don't have to, but when I think about it, Battle Styles is the set that introduced alternate arts. It was the first set that did it, okay? And this is down 5% in three months and another 2% in the last month. And overall, it's up 20% in the past year. But this is a legendary Pokemon that was introduced later. This is an alternate art of a legendary Pokemon. Now, I don't I don't know about you guys. It's wild that this was $10 at one point. Um, but if you were to open Battle Styles, which is what, like 100 and... I think it's like 120 something a box, 120. How many boxes would it take to pull this card? It's kind of how I look at it. I, I could see this. This is this is an alt art. That's all I'm getting at. Legendary Pokemon alt art. That is cool. It's cool art. It's cool art. Cool art. Cool Pokemon. I think I think it's a great card. Great pickup. Then we have okay. So this one, this this one is eh, maybe a little of the lesser cards on the list, right? However, I do have this card. Um, I got it from a friend, and it is stunning in person. All the SIRs really are. But, once again, this is an SIR for under $20. Not the most popular, but I do... This card grew on me. I like <laughs> I like the uh, artwork. So, this is one of those ones where I wouldn't have put it on the list probably normally, but I have this card and it grew on me. So, down almost 30%. 26% in the past three months, and then 19% in the past month. So, this card was up around almost $40. And this is its all-time low. So I don't know how much further this is going to go down. That's what I'm saying. This is this is an SIR. Paradox Rift. Paradox Rift, underrated set. Stand by that. Then we have... Uh, we've talked about this card somewhat recently. This is the Suicune from Crown Zenith. I could have put all three of the legendary dogs on here. And I should have. But to make the, the list 20, we kept it with just the Suicune. But this card is dropping a lot. 23% in the past three months. And in the past month, it's down another, it's down 4% as well. So it's not, it's not re starting to rebound really. This was at one point a $30 card and at its lowest in the past year, $13, which is wild that this was $13. Um, but yeah, we're looking at $18 on it currently. Pull up some last solds. This is interesting. I don't know why we're getting a $31 last sold, but anyways, 20, 18, 18, 18. So the Suicune, super stunning card. Pull rates, you know, I mean, Crown Zenith pull rates are easier, so that's probably why, but... All right, we have another SIR. Okay, you guys need to understand this. Again, I'm going to say it again. This is a special illustration rare of a legendary Pokemon. You got Pokemon in the background. Stunning looking card. This card is $10, guys. $10. Down 20% in the last three months. 17% in the last month alone. Pull up the one-year chart. It was... Oh man. This is wild to me. How was this card $8? It was $8 at one point. Ran all the way up to 14 and now it's down to 10 I think that this is an absolute buy. Um, yeah. Coridon and Maridon SIRs, they're too cheap. I Yeah. These cards... This is wild. Wild to me. Um, absolute pickup at $10. I'll pick up a SIR legendary Pokemon all day at $10. Yeah. All right. Whew. Just got to let that go. Got to let that go. Got to get that out there. I don't know. These other sets are getting so much attention. 
some of these great artworks are just getting left behind. All right, now another one I fudged the numbers on. Okay, this is from Astral Radiance. It's an alt art. It's a little bit more expensive. Okay, last sold's twenty three twenty three. So technically it's over twenty dollars. I'm sorry, but I really like the artwork on this. And once again, what you guys need to understand is that these alternate arts from the Sword and Shield era are extremely extremely difficult to pull. So, um, the the Sneasler, well, not the most popular Pokemon. I did like this art, and if you want to pick up an alt art you know, for cheap. Here's another option. One of the weaker probably cards on this list personally, but it's down 24% over the past three months and almost 8% on the past month. And the one year it's actually up 25%. You could have picked this card at its lowest at 19 and its highest at 33. So it'd be interesting to see how far this card continues to drop. If you're looking at picking up this one, I'd probably wait a little bit longer. It might crack into that $20 range again. Then we have the Reggie Drago, Reggie Drago, Reggie Drago, Reggie Drago, uh, from Silver Tempest. This is an alternate art as well, and we've talked about this card before, but it is down 21% past three months, and on the one month, down 17, up 12 and a half overall on the one-year chart. It was as high as 23, and as low as 11. Um, this card, I guess, recently had some playability in the TCG. Um, I think that this is a cool card because it has the Lugia in the background from a collecting standpoint. Next up we have the Iono Paldean Fates. Pulled this card actually um, and sold it. I sold it when it was higher, which was I was regretting it at the time, but looks like it was a good move. Um, so another one fudging the numbers, just a little bit above 20. Okay, You might be able to throw an offer out on eBay, get it for 20. But down 22% in one month, down another to see these cards are just coming down now this card is just like a straight down chart 67 down to 22 uh we'll see how low the iono goes it, it could drop definitely drop into that 20 dollars range on its own but then we have the pikachu v from lost origin we touched on this uh before okay so might be fudging it a little but we had recent sales below 20 so right and this card how is this card this card is down 20 percent over the past three months one month down four percent and on the one year, it's actually down 16%. So this is not the lowest it's been over the last year. It was definitely sub 20. But this card is too good, too popular for Pokemon with the trainer. Absolutely stunning card. Sub 20. This is a pickup all day long. Then we have the Blissey. I picked this one. This is from Chilling Rain. Another one down 30% over the past three months. We're just seeing these cards continue to crash, uh, which is great for us to pick up now. And on the one year right here, we're only up 5% uh, over from back here. So sub $20, it was at its lowest $15 card. I would expect it to level out soon, but um, an alt art from Chilling Rain, sub 20. It's a pickup all day long, popular Pokemon, uh, evolution of a popular Pokemon, I should say. Then we have the Inteleon. This is from Fusion Strike. Now this is like pretty much at $20. This is a stunning card. I... Uh, Sometimes I just, I really don't understand what's going on, but when I start to think about it, it's probably just, there's so many sets and so many new cards that some of these older sets just get forgotten about after a while. And same thing, down 22%. Uh, one month, it's actually rebounding a little. It's up 2% almost. And then on the one year, it's actually down um, 22%. So this was, its it was low around 14, had its run up around 28, and now it's around $20. But stunning card. It's If you're looking for another uh, affordable alt art, Check out the Inteleon from Fusion Strike. It's definitely worth picking up. Okay, now this next one. Don't hate me, guys. Okay. Let's, we just got to make 20. Okay. Okay. The the Go Lurk. Okay. Just hear me out. Hear me out. This is an alternate art from Evolving Skies for $15. Okay. I know. it's. The, I know. I know. I don't really like the Pokemon either. But I like the artwork. I like the other Pokemon up here. Swablu, right? They're chilling. This is an alt art from Evolving Skies for $15. That is it. End of story. This is down 46% on the past three months and 3% on the past month. Um, it's almost even on the past year, right? It was 15. It had its low of $12. It's a big run up and went into the 30s. Evolving Skies is its crazy unique thing. It's a, it's a beast. $15 alt art from Evolving Skies. I'll take it personally. 
right? I, no question. All right, three more cards. Next up, we have the Dragonair. Been very vocal about this card in the past. This card's actually on the uptick, up 13% in the past three months and 3% in the past month. On the one year, up 41%. It had its high of around 20 and its low would be down here at 12 and now it's at 17. I think this is just a stunning card from a great Pokemon of a crazy set, 151. That's why it's on the list. Um, it's a pickup all day long at this price point. I'm surprised that some of these 151 cards aren't higher, but we've been getting so many restocks of stuff, so it makes sense why the single prices are down. Next up, we have a Charizard card on the list. Obsidian Flames, not the best looking Charizard we've ever gotten. Not from the most popular set either, but it's very affordable at $17. It's a pretty rare card. Um, I don't know how many boxes you would have to open to pull this on average. I don't have the hit rates in front of me. But a gold, like ultra rare Charizard for 17 bucks. That's why it's on the list, guys. Down 4%. One month chart shows 10% in the one year. Down, this is kind of in a free fall. Down 38.8%. But the Charizard, great looking card. Then we have another card I fudged the numbers on. I'm sorry. The Ghastly. It's just barely over 20. $21, $22. This is a super cool card. You have the Meowth, Ghastly, Haunter, Gengar. St stunning card. Down 25% of the past three months, and it's falling even more, down 6% in the past month alone. But overall, it is up 34%. Now, this card's had a wild ride. Came out the gate at 16, ran up to 30, came back down to 16, ran up to 33, and it's now back down to 22. So, yeah, um, super cool, super cool card, super cool Pokemon. That is going to do it for this one, guys. That is the 20 cards that are $20 or under, eh, maybe a little over 20. Sorry about that. But these were all cards that I think are great pickups. I'm going to be looking to pick up definitely some of those SIRs for sure. These prices seem too cheap to me. That's why this is just a great time to make this video. Um, it's interesting. Sometimes you can keep making, like I could make this video again in three months and the list would be different. So it's, it's interesting. Super fun. Um, if you're this far in the video and you're not already subscribed, obviously enjoy the content. So do yourself a favor, hit the subscribe button. And I think that's going to do it for this one, guys. I just... Wanted to do 20 cards for about $20 or under. I'll catch you in the next one. And remember, it was never a phase.